This is honestly delicious. Today's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna be making Gordon Ramsay's famous scrambled eggs. He's got a very specific way of making them. I just found a whole bunch of videos online of him doing so. I picked the one with the most amount of views. That's what I'm gonna be using as a guide. I'm gonna to try to recreate exactly what he's doing in that video. And that's that. I'm excited to A, make them, B, eat them. So let's just do that. Just a minute. Gordon Ramsay's famous scrambled eggs coming right up over here. So the ingredients are pretty simple. Obviously it's scrambled eggs. What else do you really need, right? What I'm gonna be following is kind of a scrambled egg dish. So there's more to it than just the eggs. But let me show you what I'll be using. Obviously the eggs, salt and pepper, two portobello mushrooms, butter, creme fraiche, chive with me baby, a slice of sourdough bread, this is homemade, and frozen, tomatoes on a vine. And that's it. You're gonna need a sauce pot and or a sauce pan. Whoa. We're gonna start with our eggs and we're gonna add them into our pot while it's off the heat. That was a bad start. Don't be an idiot. Now Gordon says that adding a knob of butter before you start cooking this thing will give this whole dish a velvety finish. I think that's all we have to do over here. Let's move over to the stove. What we wanna do is saute some mushrooms with some tomatoes in this pan. Add lots of olive oil to your pan. Add those mushrooms. A little bit of salt, pepper, and your vine tomatoes. Now all my focus goes into this next part. I want to get these eggs right. Gordon says that anyone that can cook perfect scrambled eggs knows how to cook. What you want to do is stir these eggs while they're on medium, medium-high heat continuously. Do not stop stirring, ever. And I'm gonna be juggling them off the burner, on the burner, back and forth until they're cooked to my liking. Cool? Let's do this. Stirring vigorously. Now I'm gonna take it off the heat, let it go for a bit there. Just let it calm down. I'm gonna put it back onto the heat, keep stirring. Don't forget about your mushrooms. Off the heat, keep stirring. Back on the heat. You're getting it now. Okay, they're starting to cook now, people. Take them off the heat. Don't stop stirring, don't stop stirring. Back on the heat. Nice and creamy, we're going for creamy. Nice and fluffy and creamy. Yes. I'll come back off the heat. I just let it work. I just do this three or four times. Got it. Okay, back on the heat. Keep it going, keep it going. It's starting to come together. And off the heat, keep stirring while it's off the heat. And just keep repeating this process, like over and over. Back on the heat, off the heat, don't forget that. Back on the heat. I should probably mention that I added a couple more eggs because I didn't think three looked like a lot. Off the heat. Keep stirring while it's off the heat. You can see it's starting to cook. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of creme fraiche a bit and that's apparently gonna slow down the cooking process it's gonna make it a bit more creamier than it already is I'm gonna season my eggs with a little bit of salt obviously pepper keep stirring permanently taking this off the heat it's gonna cook with the pot because there's enough heat on the pot we don't need to keep it on the stove any longer I'm gonna add in my chives start folding them in I used five eggs in the end, and it looks just like nothing. I think we're good. Let's toast our sourdough bread. The whole slice couldn't fit into the toaster. It's ready. Time for plating. Our tomatoes, mushrooms, sourdough bread, drizzle a little olive oil on, oops, a lot of olive oil, and then, our eggs.
This is honestly delicious. Um, that was devoured. It's all gone. It was just a fantastic plate of food. I've never had scrambled eggs taste like that. Very creamy and fluffy. And do you know when you like, if you make scrambled eggs or you order them at some like breakfast diner and they're rubbery? This had none of that going on. Not even a little bit rubbery. It was just like the perfect texture. I keep making these Gordon Ramsay dishes and each one to me is a knockout. It's like simple recipes, things that I've eaten many times before, but with like a little Gordon Ramsay twist to it. And it's just like all the difference in the world, really. Top notch. Five thousand subscribers, guys. Thank you uh, to each and every one of you that are subscribed and tuning in each week. It honestly, means the world to me that anyone is watching these videos. So thank you. I've honestly been making videos since I was a kid, and to be able to continue to make them and have people that are watching it. That's the dream right there. There's no end in sight, so I hope you keep watching and let's build this community into something bigger and stronger. And there's still another half of 2019 to go, so I'm excited to see where it goes. And for those who are not subscribed, you should definitely get on that. Why not, right? 5,000 other people did, so you know, drink the Kool-Aid. Uh, what else? I have a link for my Patreon if you're curious at all about what's going on over there. A shout out to these guys over here who are supporting me on Patreon. That also is awesome. Uh, that's it. See you guys soon.